Welcome back everyone. We just finished reading this beautiful book called When the Storm Comes. And it told us about a little town that was getting ready for the storm. And what they did as they saw the, cl the storm clouds starting to build, they got things ready and then the storm came and they were all inside and the animals were all in their warm hiding places. And then at the end of the storm, they all came out for the big party at the end. So today, what we're going to do is we're going to do um, a special type of painting. Uh, but the, the wet part of our painting will be our raindrops, either in a mister or that's another name for a spray bottle. Or if you don't have one of those, you can actually use a wet paper towel. And I'm going to show you how to do that. So what I did was I made um, grape hyacinths. And that's one of the first, the spring's first flowers that come up. And they're called grape hyacinths because if you picked the, the flower and you turned it upside down, it kind of looks like a bunch of grapes. So I made grape hyacinths and the sunshine. And you see how it all kind of looks a little blurry and whatever? That's what happens when you leave something that's like paper outside in the rain. It gets wet and the color spreads. And so that's what we're going to do today. So inside our kit, and if you don't have a kit, I am using a special kind of paper but you could probably use regular white construction paper and it would work a little bit, it would work kind of like it, but you would have to get it a little wetter probably than what we'll be doing with our paper. So the first thing you'll have is your paper and markers. And you want to get the, um, the washable markers. Don't use the permanent markers for many reasons, but you want the water ones because they will blend or run when they get wet. So you think of any picture you would like to make. I already made my grape piston, so maybe this time I will make some tulips. And so you just color in your picture You can make it as elaborate as you want or as quiet as you want, but you want to be um, making it so you'll have, an, you'll have a, enough there to see the changes when it does get wet. And I have found on my other picture that um, while the yellow is very pretty, it, um, it's harder when I'm using it for you to see the blend. But for your pictures at home, you can go ahead and use the yellow. It's just for me, it's harder to show up with the video. And so I've made three tulips. I'm going to put in the stems, some leaves, I'm going to put in a little bit of green down here. For the grass. And you see I don't have to make it perfect because it's going to change a lot when I add the water. And just for the colors, I think I'll put a little blue in the sky. Then, here's an important step. 
that you have to do before you add the water to your picture. Whatever you're on needs to be protected from the water. Whether you use a lot of newspapers underneath it, or you put it on like a, a baking sheet and you put the paper right into the baking sheet, I'm just going to use a trash bag. And I'm going to make sure that the table is covered. So when I spray my paper, the wood on the table is not going to be affected or hurt. So I'm going to spray half of my page to let you see what it looks like if you use a sprayer or a mister. And then I'm going to show the other half what you would do if you don't have a sprayer, and but you do have paper towels. So I'm not going to spray a lot of water on it. I don't need a whole lot, but I'm just going to spray it. And now, if you can see this, but it's already starting to blur or blend. And so now I'm going to do the other side. And you can see the difference of what the one side that's wet and the one side that's dry looks like. So I'm going to go ahead and get this wet. And this is another thing. I don't want it super wet because um, if you get it too wet, then the paper that you have painted on will disintegrate. That means that's a fancy word for fall apart. So you just take your wet towel and you lay it right down on the part of the paper and you press down on it. And in a few minutes, you will start to see the colors blending because the colors will also go on the back part of your paper towel. And so what was nice and crisp or sharp in the lines now is nice and gentle and flowing and all you know, looks a little bit different. Let's see. Look at this. So on my paper towel, I have a little bit of my picture. And I'm going to very carefully pick this up because it's wet. You have to be very careful. And then you can see how my picture changed its appearance by being kissed by the rain. So, have fun having your picture get kissed by the rain and make sure you leave it on your protection, whether it's a pan or the newspapers or the, pa or the plastic until it dries. Have fun.